Welcome to another episode of Alan's Collection. Today I give you a survivor of the mysterious Red Room. A quintessential Avenger. We're talking about Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow. And with her, I keep on building my classic Avengers collection. So, let's begin. Hasbro, Marvel Legends series, Black Widow. Okay guys, here we have the outer box for Marvel Legends, Avengers Beyond Earth Mightiest, Black Widow. And it's a plastic free packaging guys. So you don't get a look at the figure until later. As you will probably notice, I got this on eBay, guys, so you will see some damaged parts to the box, unfortunately. But let's check out the outer box. Here we have the front of the box. You can see a nice image of the figure and some artwork on the blue background. I believe it's Natasha Romanoff's eyes. Below you have the Avengers logo with the words Beyond Earth Mightiest. We also can see some warning here. Now let's check out the side of the box. In here we have an artwork of Black Widow in action. Very nice. And below we can see the logo of Marvel and Marvel Legends. So now let's check out the back of the box. Here we have Natasha Romanoff in a superhero landing pose. Yelena would not be too surprised about this. And to the right we have an image of all the accessories this figure brings. Below we have all the legal information and warnings. Next let's check out the side of the box, the other side of the box. Here we have the figure itself in a standing pose and above the logo Marvel Legends series. And we are back to the front of the box. Let's check out the inner packaging guys. Okay guys, here we have the inner packaging displayed in the table. Obviously there's no blister pack because it's a plastic free packaging from Hasbro. In here we have a very simple piece of cardboard. Not sophisticated enough to hold the accessories when I remove the inner packaging from the outer box. However, it is clear that the figure itself is at the center of the cardboard and did not fall off from the foldable cardboard packaging. So to the left we have a piece of paper with instructions and below a tissue paper with some accessories. To the right we have again some tissue papers with the accessories. Now let's check all these tissue papers guys to reveal what's inside. Okay guys, let's check out the first one. Here we have, as they are falling down, some accessories. And as you can see, these are power effects. Especially action effects for the wrists. Very cool. Next, let's check out the main tissue paper. Okay, here we have the figure herself looking really cool, guys. I think it's my favorite Marvel Legends Black Widow. Next, we have another tissue paper with accessories. And this time it brings power effects and pistols. And of course, an extra head, guys. Very, very cool, guys. Look at that. And finally, the last t-shirt paper. Here we have... It's taking a while to drop, guys. But all the suspense is there. There you go. Here we have 
Black Widow's extra hands and we get yet another interchangeable extra head guys. Very very cool. So those are all the accessories and the figure itself that comes in the box guys. Now let's check out the vanilla pose. Okay guys, here we have the vanilla pose for Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow. And of course I am very pleased with the aesthetics of this figure. It surely is one of my favorite Marvel Legends Black Widows, if not the favorite guys. So let's take a closer look at the figure itself. As you can see, she is sporting her classic black tactical suit with her utility belt, which in this case is movable, as you can see here. And we can also appreciate the wrist gauntlets with golden accents, which look very, very cool, guys. On the torso, I very much like that the zipper has been included and sculpted beautifully. You can see a difference of color there, silver. Now let's check out the head sculpt, guys. First of all, her windswept hair looks awesome, like if she was in the middle of a fierce battle. There's even hair covering her face. Also, the face has been sculpted and painted very nicely. Her red lips and green eyes really stand up, guys. Okay, guys, let's now check the articulation. Okay guys, let's check out the articulation for Natasha Romanoff. As you can see, the head goes down a bit. And it goes up a bit as well. The head turns to the left and it turns to the right. Now let's check out the torso articulation. And here we have two separate articulations for the upper torso and the lower torso. And for the lower torso, it moves down. And it moves backwards, guys, very nicely. On the upper torso, it moves to the left. And it moves to the right, very nicely, guys. Now let's check out the arms articulation for this figure. The arm moves forward. And the arm moves backwards, like this. And the arm moves out very nicely. Black Widow has a bicep cut, as you can see here. You can rotate the bicep very nicely. Then you have an elbow articulation. This is a double jointed elbow. So you can flex the elbow like this. Very, very cool. And finally, let's check out the hand articulation. And because of the wrist gauntlet, you can only rotate the hand, guys, like this. Now let's check out the leg articulation. As you can see, the leg moves forward. And the leg does not move backwards because of the hip. However, the leg moves out, guys, like this, very nicely. Black Widow comes with a thigh cut which enables the leg to rotate fully like this, guys. Then we have a double jointed knee. You can bend the knee all the way up to here, guys, very nicely. And finally, we have the foot articulation. And as you can see, the foot goes down and the foot goes up. And she also has a rocker on the foot, guys. Now, let's check out Black Widow's accessories, guys. Okay, guys, it's time to check out the accessories for Natasha Romanoff. And first, let's take a look at the interchangeable head sculpts. Here we have this first one, which I believe it's the non-combat hair one perhaps because it looks clean and stylish like she's in a meeting or spying inside a party and also she has a pleasant face in this first extra head sculpt next we have the combat mission face 
where she's still keeping her cool but is about to engage in combat. I would say she has a focused expression. Next we have the effect parts, starting with the wrist with a smoky effect, and this comes for each hand, very cool. Next we have the open fire wrist red effect. Next we have the red shooting effect for the gun guys, for, or for the guns. As well as the smoky effects here, also for the uh, silencer gun or the normal gun. And next we have the interchangeable extra hands, starting with the hands for holding the gun. Then we have the fist hands for close combat. And finally we have the two pistols. One is the silencer gun and the other one is the normal gun. So very nicely sculpted, both of them. And that's it for the accessories, guys. I got this figure so I can put up a classic Avengers display. So let me tell you how Natasha became one of Earth's mightiest heroes, guys. So Black Widow was a former Russian KGB agent trained by the Red Room guys. But she eventually defected from the Soviet Union and started working for S.H.I.E.L.D. And later on she joined the Avengers in order to fight organizations like the Serpent Society. Her abilities range from stealth, espionage, close combat, tactical infiltration, seduction and much more abilities that aid her in her job guys. So this is a character that has always been part of my collection since day one. As she has appeared in several Avengers comics in different missions and adventures. She even has fought alongside Daredevil and many other characters guys. So I'm very pleased to have her in my collection. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this review. Uh, Hasbro has done a really good job in this figure and it will look great in my Avengers display setup that I will be doing in the coming months. Let me know what you think about the figure in the comments. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next on Alan's Collection.